One in three adults worldwide suffers from high blood pressure, a silent killer that can lead to heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. This startling statistic underscores the magnitude of the global challenge we face. High blood pressure, often without symptoms, can wreak havoc on our bodies if left unchecked. It's a medical condition that silently erodes health, and when left uncontrolled, the results can be devastating. But don't worry, there are ways to control high blood pressure without medication, and we will guide you through them. The first way to control high blood pressure is to lose any extra pounds and keep an eye on your waistline. Here's the deal. Weight and blood pressure are intertwined. As your weight increases, your blood pressure can rise too. It's simple physics, really. More weight means more blood is needed to supply oxygen and nutrients to your body, which in turn increases the pressure on your artery walls. But don't let this intimidate you. The good news is that even a modest weight loss can have a significant impact. Losing as little as 10 pounds can help reduce your blood pressure. Plus, maintaining a healthy weight has more benefits than just lowering blood pressure. It can improve your overall health and reduce the risk of other diseases. And let's not forget about the waistline. Carrying too much weight around your waist can put you at greater risk of high blood pressure. So keep a close watch on those waist inches. For most men, the risk of high blood pressure increases with a waist measurement greater than 40 inches. And for women, it's 35 inches. Remember, every pound you lose can lead to a decrease in blood pressure. Our second way is to exercise regularly. Regular physical activity is like a magic potion for your body. It can lower your blood pressure and it's one of the best ways to combat hypertension. Imagine your blood vessels as a garden hose. When water flows freely, everything's fine. But if you block the hose, the pressure builds up. Similarly, exercise helps blood flow smoothly through your veins and arteries, reducing that pressure. Now you might wonder, how much exercise is enough? For an average adult, aim for about 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity each week. You could also mix it up with a combination of both. This could be anything from brisk walking, jogging, swimming, or cycling, to even dancing. Remember, you don't need to be an athlete to reap the benefits. Even a little bit of exercise is better than none. The goal is to make it a regular part of your life. Consistency is key when it comes to exercising. Make it a part of your daily routine. Our third way is to eat a healthy diet. Your plate is like a canvas, and the foods you choose are the paint, creating a picture of your health. One diet plan that's been proven to paint a masterpiece of well-being is the DASH diet, or Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. This diet plan is rich in fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy foods, all of which are loaded with the nutrients your body needs to maintain healthy blood pressure levels. Think of fruits and vegetables like the vibrant colors on your canvas, bringing life and vitality to your plate. They're packed with vital nutrients like potassium and fiber that work together to help lower your blood pressure. Low-fat dairy, on the other hand, is like the white paint, blending with the colors to create different shades. These dairy foods provide the calcium your body needs to function well. Incorporating these foods into your diet doesn't have to be a chore. It can be as simple as adding a side salad to your lunch, snacking on fruit, or swapping out full-fat dairy for its low-fat counterpart. Remember, every little change can make a big difference. A healthy diet can do wonders for your blood pressure levels. Fourth way is to reduce sodium in your diet. Sodium, commonly found in salt, plays a sneaky role in raising our blood pressure. Consuming high amounts of sodium makes the body hold onto water, leading to an increase in blood volume. This, in turn, pushes up your blood pressure. So, how can you cut back on sodium? It's simpler than you think. Start by checking food labels and choosing lower sodium options. You'd be surprised at how much sodium is hiding in processed foods. Cook at home more often where you can control the amount of salt used. And don't forget, adding spices and herbs to your meals can bring out the flavor without the need for additional salt. Remember, every little bit counts. Even a small reduction in sodium can improve your heart health significantly. Way number five is to limit alcohol consumption. Now, we all know that a glass of wine or a pint of beer can be a nice way to unwind. But did you know that excessive alcohol can have a significant impact on your blood pressure? That's right. Too much alcohol can not only increase your blood pressure, but also reduce the effectiveness of certain blood pressure medications. What's more, it's packed with calories that can lead to unwanted weight gain, another risk factor for high blood pressure. So what are the recommended limits? For men, it's up to two standard drinks per day, and for women, it's up to one. And remember, a standard drink isn't necessarily the size of the glass you're served at your local bar. It's roughly 14 grams of pure alcohol, which is about five ounces of wine, 12 ounces of beer, 
or one and a half ounces of distilled spirits. Remember, moderation is key when it comes to alcohol. The sixth way is to quit smoking. Now let's delve into how smoking interacts with your blood pressure. When you smoke, chemicals in tobacco cause your blood vessels to narrow, which in turn, elevates your blood pressure. This strain on your vessels can lead to heart disease over time. Furthermore, smoking not only affects you, but the secondhand smoke can also increase the risk of heart disease for those around you. But here's the silver lining. The body begins to repair itself as soon as you stop smoking. Within 20 minutes of quitting, your heart rate and blood pressure drop. In one year, your risk of heart disease is half that of a smoker. In 15 years, it's as if you never lit a cigarette at all. Keep in mind that quitting smoking can be a challenging journey. But remember, each attempt brings you one step closer to successfully kicking the habit. It's never too late to quit and start reaping the health benefits. Quitting smoking can improve your overall health and lower your risk of heart disease. The seventh way is to cut back on caffeine. Now, you might be wondering, how does caffeine impact blood pressure? Well, it's a topic of ongoing debate among health experts. Some studies suggest that caffeine could cause a short but dramatic increase in blood pressure even in people who don't consume it regularly. Think of it this way. When you down that cup of coffee or a can of energy drink, your body responds as if it's under stress. Caffeine stimulates your nervous system to release hormones that can temporarily spike your blood pressure. The spike might not last long, but if you're constantly fueling up on caffeine, your blood pressure could stay in the high range longer than it should. Now this doesn't mean you need to give up on your morning cup of joe completely. Moderation is key. Try to limit your caffeine intake, go for decaf options, or better yet, consider healthier alternatives like herbal teas or infused water. Remember, every little change counts when it comes to maintaining a healthier blood pressure. Try to limit your caffeine intake for a healthier blood pressure. The eighth way is to reduce your stress. Chronic stress can be a silent killer, often leading to high blood pressure. While occasional stress is a part of life, it's the constant, unending stress that poses a real threat to our health. It causes our bodies to be in a continuous fight-or-flight mode, churning out stress hormones that increase your blood pressure. So how do we manage this stress? There's no one-size-fits-all answer, but there are several strategies you can incorporate into your daily routine. Deep breathing exercises, for instance, can help calm your mind and body. Inhale slowly, hold your breath for a few seconds, and then exhale. Repeat this cycle for a few minutes each day. Another fantastic stress reliever is yoga. With its combination of physical postures, breathing exercises, and meditation, yoga can help reduce stress and lower your blood pressure. Remember, it's not about eliminating stress completely, but about managing it effectively. Finding healthy ways to manage stress can go a long way in controlling your blood pressure. Ninth way is to monitor your blood pressure at home and see your doctor regularly. This is not just a routine task, but an essential part of managing high blood pressure. By keeping a close eye on your blood pressure levels, you can track the effectiveness of your lifestyle changes and adjust accordingly. But why is this so important? Well, High blood pressure, if left unchecked, can lead to serious health problems such as heart disease and stroke. Regular home monitoring can help you detect any sudden changes or spikes in your blood pressure. However, home monitoring is not a replacement for regular checkups with your doctor. Your doctor can provide a more comprehensive view of your health and can guide you through any necessary adjustments to your lifestyle or diet. So, Make it a habit to monitor your blood pressure at home and schedule regular visits to your doctor. It's a proactive approach to safeguard your health. Remember, early detection can help prevent serious health issues. The tenth and final way is to get support from family and friends. High blood pressure can be a daunting condition to face alone. A strong support system can be your lifeline, helping you navigate through the challenges and changes that come with managing high blood pressure. They can offer emotional comfort, motivation, and even help keep you accountable to your health goals. Moreover, it's not just about family and friends. Joining a support group can be beneficial too. It connects you with others who are going through the same journey, providing a platform to share experiences, tips, and coping strategies. And let's not forget the role of professional help. Doctors, dietitians, therapists, these experts can provide the right guidance and tools to help you manage high blood pressure effectively. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to lean on others. It's not a sign of weakness, but of strength and determination to take control of your health. Support from loved ones can make managing high blood pressure a lot easier.
Now, you're equipped with 10 ways to control high blood pressure without medication. We've journeyed through the importance of shedding extra pounds, exercising regularly, and eating healthily. We've explored the benefits of reducing sodium and alcohol, quitting smoking, and cutting back on caffeine. We've also discussed stress management, regular health checkups, and the power of support. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel and share it with others who might benefit from this information. Let's spread the knowledge and contribute to a healthier world.